given that f1 equals 1 and fn equals fn minus 1 plus n for integers n greater than or equal to 2, show that fn equals n times n plus 1 over 2. I'm going to present a few solutions to this problem. And when I see a sequence like this, I like to start with the first few elements in this sequence. f2 is equal to f1 plus 2. Now let's just follow their rule f3 equal to f2 plus 3, f4 equal to f3 plus 4, and all the way up to f of m minus 1 equal to f m minus 2 plus m minus 1, and f n equal to f m minus 1 plus n. Now f1 is 1, so this is equal to 1 plus 2. Now for f2, we can just substitute this in here. We can substitute this, so that's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. And again, this goes here, would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now if we look closely, we can see that uh, the number at the end of this addition is a number here, right? This would just be, uh, let's follow the same pattern, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to the last number, which would be the same number here, right? And this would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n. Now in another video we've shown that this is equal to a half times n times n plus 1. So we've shown that fn equals a half times n times n plus 1. This is solution 1. Now in the second solution, we still start with the first few elements in this sequence. f2 equals f1 plus 2, f3 equals f2 plus 3, and f4 equals f3 plus 4. Now in the first solution, we just substituted the earlier term in the next terms. We can also work with the same element and move the f term to the left of the equal sign. Let's see how that works. We move these f and minus 1s to the left hand side. This would become f2 minus f1 equals 2, f3 minus f2 equals 3, f4 minus f3 equals 4. And all the way down to, let's follow the same pattern, f m minus 1 minus f m minus 2 equals m minus 1 f n minus f m minus 1 equals n. Now when we add up these equations, we have terms canceling out. This, this cancels, right? This and this cancels. And actually, the first term of the previous elements cancels with the second term of the next element, right? So this term would cancel here, and this would cancel here. And we're left with f of n minus f1 equals 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way up to n. And let's move f1 back to the right hand side. fn equals f1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n. And this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n. And as shown before, this is a half times n times n plus 1. 
So this is solution two. Now solution three is by mathematical induction. Because we have an induction formula for this sequence, it is natural to use induction for this problem. We first show that the formula is true for n equals two. When n equals two, f of two equals f1 plus 2 equals 3 and 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2 is also 3. So the formula holds true for n equals 2. Now I assume that the formula holds true for n equals k. So we have f of k equals k times k plus 1 over 2. Now we show that the formula is true for n equals k plus 1. We have fk plus 1 by definition is equal to fk plus k plus 1. Now this is equal to We substitute fk in this equation, and then we have common factors. To make this more obvious, let's rewrite k plus 1 into a half times twice k plus 1. Then it'll be clear that this is a half times k plus 1 times k plus 2. And this is because this is a common factor, common factor. Now we show that the formula also works for n equals k plus 1. We have fn equals n times n plus 1 over 2.